Hello everyone and welcome back to After Party. So let's get into the taxi and start going to Satan's house. So yeah, of course, let's get into the taxi. Right, let's uh, let's meet uh, Lucifer. Spoken like a true necromancer. Next stop, Welkin Way. Or Lucifer. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of the same thing, Satan and Lucifer. But yeah. Anyways, let's go. And uh, yeah, hopefully we will we will be able to get in Satan's house, but that's going to be unlikely. I'm not really so sure if that's going to happen. Uh, what's Satan like? Do we do we call him Satan or the the devil? What's his? Actually, am I caring too much about what Satan wants? That's probably not a good thing, right? I mean, maybe. <laughs> First of all, take a couple of breaths, okay? Morning stars used to the whole, you know. Okay, the game is wow, lagging a little you. bit. I can't believe it. Celebrity fawning song and song. Everybody falls into the reverence trap. Cyrus the Great would have shaken his hand. I mean, you can't help it. <laughs> but there's only two things you gotta know about the little horn, okay? The first is that him and Daddy had a falling out after Lucifer thought he could run the family business better than his old man. He started the war. He lost the war. So he ended up here in Abaddon, a.k.a. Hell. AKA the place where it smells like a wet anteater even in winter. And second, he didn't make the rules, but he has to enforce them. Think of him like the first kid sent to detention and forced to become like a hall monitor. He knows he's a bit of a goober and he doesn't like it any more than you do, but he still finds time to graffiti the bathroom every once in a while. You ever met him before? Uh, you ever met him? Uh, you're gonna meet him in like 10 minutes, Lola. Do you really think I haven't met him yet? That's not saying yes. Yes, I've met the devil, okay? We know each other. Well? Uh, as well as anyone, I guess. As well as any fairy man, anyway. Uh, did you two date or something? <laughs> I'm what? just gonna ask did that. Did you two, like, date or something? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, sweetheart. Satan could find a way to kill a damn cactus, let alone a relationship. <laughs> He's very, uh, committed to himself, let's say. Okay, I can see the lights. Almost there. Hold on. Okay, and it seems like we have arrived at the place. Welcome way. Last stop. Watch, watch, watch your head. Okay, I'm watching my head. This place used to be, you know, actually, never mind. You gotta do the hike. Might as well let you discover it for yourself. Luke's is the only house. It's the big one at the top. And remember, a night out drinking usually starts a little apprehensive. Songs of humanity secrets only you and your mates know the lyrics to. Have fun. Text me to any cab stand if you need a ride somewhere. I'm usually just cleaning up puke. So. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, so I guess we're just you know, gonna... Do we have to be behind the line? parties like... I get this idea that everyone's gonna turn and look at me right when I get there and just know. Is this the foundation of uh, a house or something? I, I thought only Satan lived here. Well, yeah, now, but back in the day, this place used to be the fucking Grover's Corners of nowhere. Yeah, it wasn't just Satan. His fallen angel pals and him used to have the whole block. Why'd they move? Eh, some folks just like switching up the zip code every thousand years. Who knows? <laughs> well, that guy okay. Isn't cool enough to own a pair of sunglasses. Well, don't worry about it yet. See that giant ass line of people? I don't think we're getting in for a while. This is the line to get into Satan's party, right? None other. Uh, where's your sleeping bag and coffee pot? Hold it. Come on, guys. There's got to be some faster way. Haven't any of you seen Adventures in Babysitting? If a bunch of white fourth graders can get into a jazz club, here's a faster way, definitely. We see people cut through every night. Some people. Let's just keep on. Maybe we can convince whoever's at the door to let us in. I mean, we don't even want to, like, party. We just want to outdrink Satan. Bada bing, bada boom. It'll take like 10 minutes. Who's this it guy? Right, let's try it. No, there's. There has to be another way. Well, let's check it out. Uh. Oh, there's an elevator. Um. Hello? Hi, I'm Gooseneck. I'll be your first floor carriage for the evening. It's the only way up. 
Unless she's somehow smuggled in rock climbing gear. Is this uh, safe? Is this safe? Heights kind of give me a little anxiety. Oh, I'm very safe. My last inspection and renewed certification was three months ago by one Misha Vasily. And she would know better than anyone being here on account of shoving three different people down elevator shafts. Just let me know when you want to go up one. Well, I would like to go. Head in on up. Okay, well, this is going to be much oh, faster. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. I had quesadillas this morning. <laughs> Second floor, dish mops, hand towels, and segregated washrooms. Just kidding. This obviously isn't a department store from the 40s. You're in hell. I mean, that explains it. Okay, so we went a floor up, or maybe two, but we're still not anywhere close. A half hour after you asked me the last time. I mean, how long have Four we been rooms. staring at you? You know, I'm surprised the devil would let anybody live on his property. You'd think he'd want Zanzibar all for himself. Oh, no. Quite the contrary. From what I've heard, Satan's a real people person, you know? Yeah, but didn't him and his friends have some kind of falling out? Maybe they just got sick of the line. That might be it. Uh, they even have port uh, portable potties <laughs> in hell. Well, that's great. They basically have everything. Porta potties, elevators. Great. Uh, okay, so here we have elevator number Hi, two. We'd like to... Yes, I'm perfectly safe. We all get inspected every 90 days. Do you think demons can only hold jobs they're unqualified for? What? No. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Yeah, 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 just take us up one, okay? Hop aboard, Slim Jims. Going up. Hold on to the sides. Okay. Oh, all right. Take, take, it, take it easy. I can't control the weather patterns, ma'am. And turbulence accounts for only 2% of falls. Oh, we're aboard. so close. Everybody out. Well, we're getting closer and closer to the house. But we're still not anywhere close. <laughs> uh, I'm going on a is this Ferris wheel for my nightmares? Looks like it's seen bananas, better days. Carrots, donkeys, Maybe turning the worms, island into a horrifying amusement park and... scared Satan's neighbors away? Nah, I used to die for this shit. Yeah, I don't know what is going on. Everybody's like talking to themselves and all that. As long as it keeps the foot traffic away. Don't know, don't care. Okay. Elevator number three this uh, yeah. time. Can we, uh... Yeah, yeah, I'll take you up. Don't have any time to learn nothing about somebody, I guess. No, 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 we... We don't... Best get in quick, since Satan only knows when the last time I've been inspected. You want to check my ass for tags? Check my balls, see if I've been fixed, too? Okay, we... Uh... We're getting a little in the weeds here. Hey, I'm just okay. doing job. We'd You're like just to taking it a little a bit. Up, please. <laughs> If this place even has an end. Oh, it does. You're almost there. But uh, watch the attitude. Sometimes our claws slip if we're not feeling the vibe. Going up, two cold ones. Okay, and we should be at the place. Oh, why didn't Satan just make more stairs? Cause Satan likes to keep demons employed. That's why. Fourth well, that explains get the it. Fuck out. Damn. Have some decency, man. Come on. Have some respect. I know we're new, but come on. <laughs> okay. Here we have another elevator. Our, hopefully our last one. Uh, hello. Hi, I'm Ballister, your fourth floor carriage. Wanna go up? Great, great, that's, yes, thank you. That'd be very nice of you. Because, because we're st we still need to go your one more floor up. Associates seem a bit on edge tonight. Only the bottom and top floors have bathrooms. Oh, uh, okay. Fifth floor, the Tibbity Top. Zabulba, 616 Welkin Way. Everybody out! Okay, here we are. And this is the line. Damn, that's a pretty long line. But here we are. Oh shit, Jerry, I, I mean Terry. Baker's blowing up. Ugolino has an extra invitation. Um, sorry, but what's, what's Bicker? It's the social media down here. Look at your phone, it comes pre-installed. There, see? You can get good info on what's going on in hell. Yo, yeah, uh, what's the commercial say? Geotagged, user-specific. It's a nice way to distract from the perpetual torment. Or to just post pictures of your pets lying in sunlight. 
Cool. Well, thanks, thanks for the, the tip. tip. Yeah, no problem. Now back of the line before I cut you. Whoa! Hey, it's Milo and Lola. Still on that mission to get out of hell, huh? I'll just be going into the party now with my special uh, VIP invitation. Aren't you coming? Oh wait, you can't. Um, hey, can we can we go in with you? You can like mentally torture us in there if you want. Uh, can Sounds we like just a fair deal. get in with you? You can like mentally torture us in there if you want. <laughs> Laugh at him, ladies. Oh my god. <laughs> Screw that thing, Lola. Let's just check Bicker and find other people with a spare invite. Well, it's going to be really unlikely okay, that we're gonna cool. find Look, find a spare here. invite. There's, uh, I see two of them, and uh, we only need one. <sighs> Whatever. We'll take what we can get. There's, there's a demon who says he needs help apprehending someone, and a woman, Linda, who says she has an invite to give away. She just wants someone to get her a drink. This will be downright easy. Awesome. So let's get back to Sam and track down these fools. Okay. Uh, so we press this button. Okay. So this is the map. So we also have two missions or like kind of objectives or not objectives, but uh, two options. So the other one. So what do we have here? Uh, get an invite from human named Lin Linda. Okay. And our second option, I think, is... Get an invite from demon named Fe Fella. Okay. Um. So I think we're gonna go for. I think we're gonna go to this place. Get an. Uh, so we just have to get a drink for Linda. That's that's going to be an easy one. So. Uh. So I'm guessing that we also have to get all the way back down, which is going to be really fun. But please let us inside. Come on. Is this the uh, the VIP entrance? What gave it away? Was it the everything? Move to the side if you don't have passes. All we want to do is talk to Satan. That is it. Bada bing, bada boom. It'll be like we were never standing here bothering you. It's going to really feel like you were never standing here bothering me when you leave and I forget you exist. <sighs> okay. Looks like those guys weren't kidding. I think we need to get an invite. You do. Yep. We should regroup with Sam, figure out our next step. This is a dead end. It is. All right. Great. Well, uh, is there anything else that we can explore here? Nope, that's a dead end. So, yeah, we're going to take the elevator all the way back down, get into the, into the taxi, and talk to Linda for, an, uh, for yeah, for an invite. Want to go all the way to the bottom or take the long way? Uh, all the way down. Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Gate closing. Going down. Great. So it's not going to be that long. I'm gonna go all the way back down. Here we go. Well, it's not that not that bad. We got a little bit of an express oh, treatment. Really sore. They got me pushing boulders up mountains all day now. It's good for your hamstrings, but some cardio wouldn't hurt, you know. Okay. Uh, let's call the taxi. You're not the one wearing uh, heels. Here we go. Grab our uh, our phone in hell, our smartphone. So, all partied out. Normally, people are more covered in blood and viscera, but far be it for me to tell you how to live. We didn't. Well, we didn't in. get in. There's a line around the fucking world back there. Oh, we have a plan, though. There's some people have invites, and some people have. I have spares, so... You wanted to get invited to cut the line? Yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. Whose tree do you want to shake first? There's a demon in uh, Bobblin Park. He says he needs help catching somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink. But we so... know it can't just be that, or else it would have already been done. So... Ah, uh, classic case of too many good ideas. It's like 30 years of all over again. Guess you got some picking to do. Of course, we have to do some picking. Um, so we're gonna go to here. We're gonna give her a drink, and hopefully it's going to be easy. Not too difficult, but uh, not also not also too difficult at the same time. So let's go. Well, let's try Linda first, right? I know it sounds too easy, but maybe it is. Oh, I just want on the record that this is a trap, okay? A trap of inconvenience. 
you're not like crazy fans of Linda, right? Because she's not too big into autographs or meeting people. Why would we be fans? Did she like murder a, a deposed baby king or something? She used to be the lead singer of that witchy witch band, Mercury Worm, back in the 70s. Is she famous? So she's famous, right? Yeah, but just, you know, be be cool. And don't bring up her old band. What happened with her old band? Eh, let's leave the spoilers till your second playthrough. What does that mean? Let's leave all the annoying questions till then, too, okay? Next up, little Rontalia. Rontal- Okay, I can't even pronounce that name. Wow. Okay. So, here we go to Linda. Uh, hey, so, speaking of, like, uh, music, <laughs> was any of that stuff about playing records in reverse to hear satanic messages? Was it real? Oh, yeah. And not just records. TV shows, commercials. You know bus stops have those automated recordings? Play them backwards and you'll hear Satan whispering Chinese nuclear codes. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> but Lucifer and rock stars have a real history. It's true. It's something about needing to to scream your ego out into the conjectural void is really attractive to unhallowed spirits, I guess. That's is what I'm asking. Somehow, like different from Earth. Like has the chronographic and ethnological diversity in a supernatural environment developed unique harmonic genres? No, just like what kind of fucked up music do demons make? Oh, every song's about one thing. Doesn't matter who's making it. Why won't Tina call me back? But music, the creative arts, has always been a thing for the damned. Slavery let the self-possessed invent crap like trumpets, and it's hard to really break from that lineage, you know? Anyways, we're almost there. Don't let on that you know Linda. She's kind of embarrassed about her solo album, Helicopter Fuckhouse. <laughs> Helicopter Fuckhouse. <laughs> what a song name. Or is that a song name? I don't know, but <laughs> what a name. Okay, Little Rontalia, here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts, founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, a carrot juice bar just opened up on the other side of town, and, uh, oh, the dirty hurdy-gurdies just down the road there. That's where Linda said she wants a drink, right? Yep. Okay, kids, text me if you need a ride. Have fun at music camp. Well, thank you. We're gonna go to Dirty Hurdy Gurdy. What? I like the name. I don't know what happens if, if Actually, you say it like three times at the it. same time. I think I have heard of like, really fast. One. Yeah, didn't they reinvent themselves in the '80s, becoming some synth monstrosity? I've told you this a hundred thousand times before, but but it's always been a dream of yours to be in a band. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you remember, uh, but I tried in that one talent show in sixth grade. I played a harpsichord. And classical trumpet? It yeah, like we're gonna a, tell the truth. Like an alternating thing. Yeah, I think it was a good decision to retire from performing after that. Hey, come on. I I know an educational jam band isn't to everyone's taste, but I think some of the faculty, or at least Mr. Thompson, liked it. He was nodding his head, at least. Uh, Mr. Thompson Mr. was Thompson dead. Mr. Thompson lost his hearing in Vietnam. Well, yeah, it's a beautiful country. It was just so embarrassing. Being up on that stage, getting booed, or uh, make friends. But maybe I'm just being melodramatic. Kids are just dicks. Look, Milo, kids at that age are just dick bags. I mean, what 12 year olds even heard of metal machine music? I think that was the music teacher that said that, but the point still stands. Okay, um. So we're still not really close to Gertie or Dirty Gertie Hurdy. Uh, there it is. Dirty Hurdy Gertie. We're almost there. There's an arrow pointing that way, so that means we're getting pretty close. Uh, anyone want to be uh, part Helmic partner? I'll take anyone. Well, not me. Okay, oh, some, some lag. You two, you there. The Ebony Woman and the Lemon Man. Lemon Hail Man. Well met. <laughs> okay, wow, some terrible lags going on here. Hail and well met. Hail and ill met. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna Fuck say off. this. Fuck off! I get enough racist cat calling at my therapist's office. Thank you. 
all our sincerest apologies if we've offended you. We aren't up on the modern descriptors. Do you, uh, do you guys need something? That is so kind of you to offer. We would indeed humbly ask for your assistance. Yes, could the Ethiopian please pick up the small whistle-like contraption resting there at my feet? I'm afraid that's our tuner. Hadrian here dropped it. One's hand tuner? tends to get sweaty. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tuner, and you really need this that bad. One of us needs it that bad. But if you could please hand us the fallen vocal adjuster whenever convenient, uh, we'd be most appreciative. Oh, thank you. Well, no problem. Uh... Um, I'm gonna be nice and just hand, hand it over. Okay. Here we go. Here you go. Oh, you've done it. A surprise for the ages. Thank you so much. We certainly appreciate it. Even Longinus here is eternally grateful. I'm grateful to be true, but let's not engorge the phrasing here. Keep up the good work. Yeah. I can't wait to see what you do in the future. I can almost guarantee that whatever it is, we'll be standing right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Alvalos, you're still flat. <laughs> uh, what chant should we perform now that we have The Mass our... of the Angels. The Mass of the Angels. That one has um, unripened for me in the past. Okay, here we are. At Dirty Gurdy. Oh no, dirty hurdy gurdy. God damn it. Okay, well let's go inside. Dirty gurdy. Well, by the looks of it, they serve a lot of lukewarm salmon. After you? Oh no no no! After you. Okay, well she's gonna go first. Okay, and we're inside the rock shop. <laughs> no no no! Here to the end of the story. Think that lonely looking woman with a haunting stare and perfect cheekbones is. is Linda. Yeah, you could have just said the one with the guitar. Yep, that's Linda, <gasps> alright. Oh, Whoa! Don't be scared. We're just the accursed oh. souls of dead musicians, forever trapped in this shithouse of schlock by that wretched virago, Ono Skellis. Oh, uh, who's. Uh... Ono Skellis, the grand negotiator, the band manager of Hades. And the fallen angel that owns the bar you're standing in. But if you want to talk to Linda, just take the puke purple mile down to the end. Can't miss her. And be sure to check out our gift shop. Oh, okay. Well, hey, uh, thank you for the welcome. Listen, this is going to sound weird, but with Linda, can I, like, do all the talking? Why? It's just, I've never gotten to be that guy, you know? Ordering a woman a drink, sliding it across the bar. Hey. If you want to practice your cold calling in bars, be my guest. Just remember why we're here. Awesome. Yeah, no, totally. Eyes on the prize. Okay. Uh, okay, now we switch over to him. Uh, let's get a drink. Hey, bomb squads, and uh, do you have anything with honey in it? Yeah, we have six drinks that contain wasp urine. Four bomb squads. I'll send them over to your table. Next! We're fresh out of priest bladder, but what can I get you? Okay, so... Oh, the Black Death. I like that name. Uh, our signature, larger than larger, sixteen full ounce uh, boo bu bu bubo fluid. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Uh, one Arnold's Margarita, Turner Box Gin, aged in. Yeah, these names. Oh my God, Jeffrey Bomber. Hmm. I like Jeffrey Bomber. I like the bullets inside of the drinks. So. How about... Oh, there's even a flower inside of it. Okay, let's go with Jeffrey Bomber. Want to be a fun flirty? Just down 18 these... J oh. Okay, and hold on to something. Interesting. So it's kind of like a flirty drink. I like the glass. Okay, here we go. Get ourselves the drinks. And, uh, one more for our friend over there, Linda Landon. Gotta tell me which drink. I'm not a drunk idiot mind reader. Uh, I'm gonna give her, uh, the Black Death. Or should we also get, give her the Jeffrey Bomber? Yeah, we'll why not? send the demon waiter over to her table with it. Alright, let's go, uh, chat her up. Get that invite. 
Okay, great. Uh, I'm also gonna check out the gift shop because there's one right here. Let's take a look. Like a hat or something? I already have the song remains the same on DVD. Nah, I'm good. I don't think we'd be able to take anything back with us anyway. Yeah. Uh, let's talk to these ladies right here. No, the Salem witch trials were actually right. They just killed all the midwives and missed us. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, uh, excuse us. Is anyone here familiar with Linda Landon? Oh, uh, yeah, she's playing here tonight. That's why we're here. What about you? We're, uh, we're also here for Linda. Oh, yeah. We're huge yeah, fans. We're big, big fans. huge yeah. fans. We, uh, we committed some pretty heinous crimes against God and man to see her play tonight. Cool. Yeah, us too. I mean, those babies won't eat themselves, so... Have you um, seen Linda around by chance? Maybe doing pre-show autographs? She's hanging out over yonder. Okay, well, thank you. Because but I know where she is. Uh, well, let's go, go to her. Yeah, the sharpies down here scream when you use them. Or maybe yeah. not. Okay. Uh, now, let's talk to Linda. Taking some photos, some selfies. <clears throat> Hi. Um, are you? No, I won't take a picture with you or sign your femur. And I'm kind of in the middle of. Something. Take a drink. Really? Because it looks like you just. This timeline isn't going to refresh itself. Having a Fire bad night? Tone. I sense that you're... Whoa, okay. A well, here's a drink. From the gentleman with the mulberry wig. Uh, my hair isn't a wig, it's... What am I doing? <laughs> well, the walk there and back earned you at least two minutes. Have a seat. Okay. I'm Linda Landon, former lead singer of Mercury Worm, current denizen of the Fourth Circle. Judging by your starstruck faces, I'm sure you already knew that. Not that I would <laughs> I could drink too much if you didn't. <laughs> You're a poet. I could I could tell. I got a sixth, seventh, eighth sense when it comes to that stuff. I think Rolling Stone said my lyrics were the ramblings of a baby with poop in its brain, but I sold out five straight nights at Webster Hall, so Lester Bangs can go fuck himself. I love the Are Rolling you in Stones. Town for the reunion at Satan's party tonight? What reunion? Oh, Jesus. Okay, some backstory. Mercury Worm was my band, obviously, but we broke up. And in my discerning absence, they added a keyboardist and started collaborating with 15-year-old DJs. The fuckers took a fame rocket ship to Planet Coke and Hookers. But they all just died in a plane crash like a week ago. How romantic, right? But they're the hot new diarrhea, so Satan booked them for his house party tonight. Maybe all the album covers posing with drugged white tigers finally bit him in the ass. In other places. How did you die then? Wait, if they died in the plane crash, and you weren't with the band, and you can't fly, then how would I end up here? Wait, Linda, just if you have a spare invite to Satan's party, we could really use it. See, now that's a problem. When I split from the band, I pledged my eternal soul to Satan for a solo career, and it worked for about six months until my 27th birthday when I died parasailing down the Detroit River. Now, part of my infernal That's contractual nice. agreement is to perform shows here and ones tonight, so I can't go. But, and neither can my invitee, since you'd need to, you know, come in with me. They won't let you in without me there, see? Sorry if you came just for that. There's no Do way? you think there's a way we could, like, get you out of it for the night? Did Moses get out of building the ark? Wait, wait, let me just, uh, let me quarterback this. You said there's a contract, right? Well, shit, people get out of contracts all the time. My Uncle Jeff thought he had a prenup. He's living in a van in Reseda now. She took his damn hamster. Guys, look, what if we just, we found a loophole or, or a replacement? Come on, give us something here. Oh, it would be nice to be there when Mercury Worm falls on their faces. Okay, if you want to try, you can try. But you gotta deal with Ono, my manager. She owns the bar. She's downstairs right now, probably looking at another undeveloped talent. Good luck. You somehow managed to pull Let's take this a drink. Off. I'll uh probably here. Waiting. Should I get your number? We I just <laughs> numbers. You know, just in case we get separated and I can't contact you. Sure. Yeah, it's 555. Fuck off forever. Fuck <laughs> off. Wait, I think that's too many numbers. So, she's downstairs, she said. This is a basement. 
Surprise! It's also a music venue. They dug a big shithole in here and shot out a stage. As for Ono, you can't miss her. She'll probably be yelling at one of her bedraggled assistants. We'll uh, keep that in mind. Thanks. We'll be back. What a number. Oh, no. Let's just sweet talk her downstairs and get Linda off leash. Roger. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to drink all of this because this is a pretty bad drink. Let's drink all of it. All of it. Drink it. Yeah. There we go. Just like that. Okay, just throw it on the ground. There you go. And now we're going to go downstairs. Yeah, she's pretty drunk now. Damn. <laughs> okay, here we are downstairs. Uh, where could he be? Yo, 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 I'm Baron. And I'm Peyton. And together, we're a Black House. And we're here with a new single off our mixtape. Not literally a mixtape, but a thing you can get with a download code if you follow us on Bicker. It's called I Get Mine. Drop the beat. <laughs> Look at them dancing. Let's talk to them. Excuse me, sorry. Don't mean to interrupt this thing. Excuse me. What is this? Who are you? We're in the middle of an audition. If you can't already tell, and I doubt very much that Black House appreciates the intrusion. Which one of you is? Oh, no? Um, yeah. Don't look so shocked. It's not like anyone else down here is worth talking to. Down here as in this basement, or down here as in my hell? Yes. Now, church might scurry and you're in a hurry, so get out. Uh, uh, don't, don't mind him, kids, little Chattanooga choo-choos. Valak couldn't find the right spoon for his cereal this morning, so now he's a little ill-tempered. They don't have that explains no it. meeting scheduled. Uh, just hit the pause button, okay? Give us a break here. You'd give a fucking rock a headache. Uh, fine. We'll continue this shortly. But house, thank you. I'm Ono Skellis. Some folks call me Ono. That's my auxiliary, Valak. He girds and guards my affairs. I prefer the term executive peon, but... And you are wanting to speak to me about buying Girl Scout cookies? Is it even the right season for that? I'm just riffing off your clothes, really. You're missing, you're missing the sash. You okay. need to get Linda out of her contract. Uh, just for the night, but it is a bit of an emergency. I need to let Linda out of her contract? Why do I need to let Linda out of her contract? Speak quickly now. Uh, we need to outdrink Satan. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, we let's say that. Try to do the out party Satan thing to escape hell. So I need to let Linda out of her contract tonight, so you can drink the night away at Satan's house and try to earn your way back home. And your father's label maker said what on your toy chests? Milo and Lola. Milo and Lola. Valak, how many years left on Linda's term sheet? Roughly ten thousand years. Linda got 10, a discount for time oh, served when she wow. lived in San Antonio that summer. Okay, sold. She can have the night off. Yeah. But you'll have to find a loner. Uh, yeah? A replacement act. We can't be understaffed. Uh, sure thing. Easy. I mean, You just want someone who can sing, right? Play recorder? I don't know what Linda's act is like. It's music. Just find a musician. And don't just go and get any waterlogged corpse that's not at home watching TV, okay? No, definitely not these. It'll be, uh, top shelf. I should... I'll cryptically add this. Think about the risk here, potentially, before you zip off to Never Never Land and fetch some Sarcoline crooner. What risk? The first word a human being ever said was property. I should know. I was there at it. I've bought souls for a baby's breath, and I've bought souls for a ham sandwich. The only difference was the stuff they thought they were getting in return. And for someone like Linda, who's so dog-shaking desperate to get out of a contract, that she'd send two souls who ain't been dead not 17 minutes to bargain with me? Well, I think the plan deserves scrutiny is all. Maybe check it for ticks before you scamper off on the songbird's behalf. Don't let her sell you out, kids. I see bad contracts signed every day. Oh. Okay. Well, what the fuck did she mean by that? <laughs> I only understood like half the damn words. Sarko yeah, she's just crooner? messing with us, of course. She's just messing with us, Milo. That's what demons do. It's like breathing. 
Onoskelis is no demon, child. She's a fallen seraphim angel. Once sat on a throne at God's feet before water was invented. So don't mistake your place, and don't lose concentration either. Consider Linda. Ono requires a replacement performance if you want her freed up for the party. And don't even daydream about returning until you do. All right. Now I just have to find some singers and uh, convince them to do this. You listen to more modern day pop garbage than I do, so maybe you should take the lead. Yeah, makes sense. Let's find some musicalists. Yeah, that might be a good idea. So, uh, how about you also drink up your drink because your drink is pretty bad. Because it's about, it's basically this drink is all about flirting. So we're just gonna throw it away, just like that, and... Ooh, what is that? Famous for his playing two guitars at the same time style, the Grand Duke of Hell, Astaroth, grew to musical prominence in the late 1970s before retiring from the stage to become a model train conductor. Okay, that's something different, but the question is, how are we gonna get a... I mean, we need people to play with us, so... It's going to be quite difficult, but I think I know maybe who. But it's going to be difficult. Uh, we're just going to look around here. Uh, maybe these people right here. Yo, 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 I feel let's like actually, we really let's ask these up. guys right here. Yo, yo, I know. Maybe we'll or get maybe a not. To Hang on, really let's see. Uh, so, yeah, let's talk to these guys. Maybe they can help us. Sorry to, uh, d but I have to ask. Why are you trapped here like a glittering fish in a very depressing aquarium? Oh, a sampler platter of reasons, really. I challenged Ono to a fiddle off. Lost. Because I forgot I don't know how to play the fiddle. I sold my soul for a number one hit. Died of a chocolate overdose not ten days later. Uh, to be... To be fair, I ate that much chocolate because I was on a lot of heroin at the time. Uh... And I wanted to be the best guitar player in the world. Oh no, made it happen. And then I suffocated in a 52 person orgy. I'll be sure to uh, <laughs> check out your guys' stuff when I get my streaming subscription back. Yeah, thanks for the nickel. Nickel pickle. Okay, uh, how about these guys? Greetings and salutations, my classic 80s hip hop enthusiasts. If you want to be our manager, we're trying to get Ono to take us on, so. No offense, but we'd rather keep trying with her. Yeah. You two are really, uh, interesting. There's a certain theme to your work that really, uh, it doesn't particularly speak to me, but... Thanks for the compliment. But, uh, again, we're not interested. Look, we came over here to ask if you wanted to play for Ono tonight. It's a one-time thing, but it's real. Holy shit. Hold up, wait, no, what, what is this for? Are we getting paid? Um, <laughs> mm, no. Um, no, actually, you'd be doing it kind of as a favor to Linda Landon. But it's also a great opportunity to try out for Ono again. And Ono specifically requested us? Mm, uh... <laughs> uh, oh yes, definitely, let's just say that. Oh, yeah, definitely. She said it wouldn't be a show without, uh, Bud House. Black House. Black House. Uh, I'm not really feeling wined and dined here. Yeah, we're gonna pass on the town fair job, fellas. Thanks. Oh, come on. Shit, not gonna do it. Yeah, we need to find some other sucker. I mean, you know, a uh, loser. I know one more loser, but he's outside. But let's look around here for a little bit. Um, well, these ladies right here, yeah, we don't have an option. Uh, she's definitely not gonna help us. So there's only one more option left is and talk to these guys uh, outside Which were basically clammed and stuck So yeah, I think we're just gonna go outside Let's go Here we go back outside of dirty hurdy gurdy And let's talk to these guys. Hopefully they're they're gonna help us Because that's our only option Maybe not our only option, but let's talk to these guys. Let's see. Oh, look, it's our new friends, the tuner picker-uppers. Hail and well met. We've been practicing. A lot. Some would say too much. Wanna it's play show? It's never too much. Hope you've been well. Small talk about your sister and her baby, whatever. 
Do you guys, by chance, want to play a show? A show? What show? Would we get paid? Are you getting paid? Paid? No, we're not getting paid. And if you wanted to cut a salary, you shouldn't have become fucking liturgists. Hey, I just want to know what the twist is before I sit through the movie. Don't be rude, Longinus. Let's hear them out. I don't want to hear them out. You know what they're going to say. Oh, I know what they're going to say. Uh, hey, this might not mean much to you, but this would really, really help us out. I mean, you're Gregorian chanters, right? Catholic? It'd be a good deed? Well, obviously, we weren't good Catholics if we're in hell. To be perfectly honest, we could use the exposure. Foot traffic slowed down ever since they moved the taco hut. <sighs> I guess you're right. Oh. Okay, that's enough. And maybe practice a little bit more before the show, because the sounds coming out of your mouth sounds like a funeral that died and went to hell where it exists with us now. Took the exactly. Words right out of my mouth. Clearly you don't like East Coast chanting, but to each their own. We'll meet you in the basement of the hurdy-gurdy when we're ready. It's Ono show, and she wants to see a sampling first. No worries. We'll, uh, manage. Okay. Well, great. Uh, so we're gonna go to the basement. At least we have someone that can help us. Someone. So now we're gonna go to the basement, and hopefully these guys are gonna appear somehow down there. Okay, dirty, hurdy, gurdy. Let's get inside again for the second time. Okay, here we are. Uh, so we're gonna go down here. Uh, should we get a drink? No, I think we're fine with a drink. Uh, we could go ahead and talk to to her. Uh, why not? Hi, Linda. Hey. Uh, have you asked anyone else to do this, or we found a band? Hey, we uh. We got good news. We found you a band. Really? What kind of music? Are they good? It's a band of musical performers. Let's just focus on that. Okay. Well, you already got farther than I thought you would. I appreciate it. You know, whatever happens from here. No problem. Okay. So, at least now let's go downstairs. And hopefully we will do it with these guys <laughs> not really the greatest catholic singers but uh they might do fine uh Book so here we are oh no the seventh of august we uh we found people to uh to play tonight really yeah really uh the the chanters outside Huzzah! Huzzah! oh there he is <laughs> Wait, we're still in the fucking stocks? You picked these guys? They don't exactly seem performance ready. Well, it would really help if we could move our necks. Oh, come on, they'll be fine. We heard them outside. They can kind of carry a tune. Kind of? We can carry a tune and move your piano for you at the same time, kid. Yeah, I don't know about this. Maybe with some uh, taxi dancers. I mean, this... It, it needs some elasticity to it. Dancers. This isn't Studio 54. I wish it was Studio 54. If you can't sing, Valak, you dance. If you can't dance, you set things on fire. That's the rule of rock and roll. And no one is gonna watch monastic hermits moan like castrated jockeys. Unless things are humping each other in the background while they do it. So, Milo and Lola, wanna stand in for me? Okay. Uh... Wait, what, what, what's uh, happening right now? You're gonna dance while your chosen artists perform. But just Shadow Valak, he'll show you what to do. I just need to see it in a group, you know? Of course, you couldn't have asked me to do this when I was still jogging. Valak here okay, so we're gonna be dance dancing. on the Buddy Great. Dean show since he was in Pigtails. He choreographs most of the numbers that come through here. Buddy Dean couldn't handle me, honey. You too. It'll be easy. Just follow the moves as I go along. And don't deviate. I Wait, if we suck. I didn't study on a <laughs> in college for nothing. Uh, but what, what if we suck? Would you uh, not let them perform? Depends on how much suckage we're talking about. It'll be <laughs> alright, Milo. Just like the, the, the talent show we talked about. You in sixth grade? 
Oh, you mean the one you couldn't even say anything about because you were so embarrassed by the memory of it. Wait, 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 wait. Don't oh, of course about she's me. back. I always love live dancing. Are you guys going to show Bush or is it just tits up? Oh my God, will you fuck off, Wormhorn? We don't need this shit right now. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? Lola's right. I mean, Milo, do you really remember the sixth grade talent show? That didn't turn out so well, did it? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Lil Chad Leckler beat you up so bad you had to take off school. Wait, Milo, you said you got the flu. Honestly, he was throwing up so much, it's not that big of a lie. Lola, I'm sorry, Wormhorn's right. I can't do this. You should take the lead here. I'll just uh, tap my foot behind you. Yeah. Wait, don't listen to it, Milo. It's not... It's simple. Just move like I move. Whatever, guys. Come on. My bones are falling asleep here. Let's uh, get this show on the freeway. Play the music. Oh, crap. Okay, so we have to use these four buttons on my controller to dance. Okay. I get it. There we go. Okay. Doing not too bad. Yes, there we go. I'm doing it. Yes, look at this. Okay, come on. It's gonna get difficult over time. Yes. Oh, man. It's gonna get intense. Okay. Oh, look at that. We're doing well. Yes. Bada boom, bada beam. Yes. Okay, what was it? I mean, it's it's pretty easy. But is it going to get any more difficult? That's the question. Yes. Who's booing? Why are you booing? Oh, wow. That was really close. Oh, I almost forgot that. Oh, wow. I almost forgot again. Almost lost there. Oh, again. Look at her moves. Keep dancing, lady. Keep it going. Is that right? It was right? Ugh, okay. Of course it's right. Yes, we did it! We did it. Yeah. Oof. I knew I should have stopped playing basketball with wife. Very nice. I can... I can see it. I really can. With professionals, it'll really distract from the horrifying music. Thanks. She wasn't talking about you. So, Miss Ono, what did you think? Oh. Well, there they go. Poor guys. <laughs> uh, what? That's it? They sucked! Oh, God. Whatever. Yeah, you better go no, away. That bit of unpleasantness is in our rear view. I'll let you unfurl the banners. Tell Linda she's free for the evening. Great, awesome, thank you. Valak will riddle out the details. I imagine you'll be going to Morning Stars now. Uh, Satan's, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, to try to outdrink him, get back home. Do you think you'll be able to do it? The two of you. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, I didn't know I could ride a donkey until one threw me off that gorge. Lucifer was the first rock star. You know, before Liz, before Paganini, before that caveman that played a dinosaur's rib cage like a xylophone. It was him. And notoriety makes you forget things. Responsibilities to yourself and others. And look, he has bigger things to worry about tonight than a drinking contest. Uh, like what? Responsibilities like what? It's just... Every human creature carries microscopic mites. Mites that live full, hectic, provocative lives. They fall in love, have children, die tragically. And I say this not to make you itch. I say this so that when you see rock stars and movie stars and people with jets, when you meet Satan, remember that you are all planets responsible for a billion souls. And so is he. And what else could be more important than that? Okay, yeah, well... For me. We'll be in touch. Thanks for uh, being the uh, the lead back there. I just, you know, I really should just stay in my lane. It's fine, Milo. It's fine, Milo. Just, it's just fine. Now let's give Linda the good news and get her damn invite. Okay, so we have ourselves an invite. So now we're gonna go upstairs, say that we done it, and we got ourselves an invite. 
I mean, it was pretty easy to get an invite. It was really easy. So let's go to her right here. Talk to her. Well, if it isn't my favorite fans again. Vickers blowing up about the reunion. Apparently, they all just arrived. It's funny. I was thinking maybe there'd be a chance Hedgy Jane Myers would end up, you know, north. She was running some fucking Save the Giraffes PSA campaign last I saw. Anyways, how'd the search for a last minute understudy go? Seeing as how this is hell, it probably didn't go so well. Uh, I'm just gonna we go. We got you an, an yeah. awesome replacement band, really. It's these, these, uh, monks. They chant. And they can't move either, so yeah. Monks. Well, we don't know that exactly, but we do know that they'll be singing for you tonight. You're off the hook. Huh. I'm surprised. And it's hard to surprise someone who gets leeches put in her coffee every morning. Come on, walk me to the cab stand. I have to say, I thought this was going to be like baking cookies. You plan on making these perfect little Christmas trees and they come out looking like somebody's father issues. But you guys really pulled it off. And, uh... I'm a little embarrassed to say my elbows are sweating at the thought of meeting my old bandmates. Those bastards have gone on so long without me. They I'm love sure to see you. This damn yeah, let's woman. say something nice. Are you kidding? They'll, they'll love to see you. It's been years. I don't really know about that. It's just, we were like best friends, you know? And they did kind of screw me over, but I kind of screwed them too. By uh, hogging the attention? Yeah, well, that, and by embezzling album profits. But be that as it may, I just hope we can remember why we became friends in the first place. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take a cab, or walk her to the cab. Uh, okay, go outside. For, for the third time, yes, we're outside. Okay. Goodbye, dirty hurdy gurdy. You were great. Last time Bobby Francis, we got in a fight over what to name our tour van stuffed monkey mascot. I told him his name is Rico, or I'll see you in hell. <laughs> you think he'll remember? Milo, Bobby couldn't remember his daughter's name while we were on tour. No, he will not remember. <laughs> Friendships okay. that long are like a marriage. Sometimes you just want to boil a person's face off and shoot the EMTs as they come, but well, dying alone is just too scary to even entertain the alternative. Uh, every, every, everyone dies alone. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Well, we can't remember dying, so I guess I'll take your word for it. Whether you remember isn't the important part. You're not dead until there's nobody left that remembers you. That's why everybody wants to be famous. Okay. Hmm. Uh, wow, she, she almost went into that lava. Oh, Milo <laughs> wanted to be famous. No, I didn't. Why would you say that? Uh, you know what? I don't know. Just popped into my head. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. There's a demonic saying. The longer in hell, the more you are you are. It means... It's, eh, who gives a fuck what it means? Let's just get out of here. Yeah, I mean that... I would have seen this. I would have said the same thing. Well, let's just get out of here. Uh, sealant knot? Is that what it says right there above that door? I don't know. It's some really weird and names and all that. But okay. I'm just gonna go outside. Milo did great. Everybody's doing great. I mean, kind of. Not. We're not really doing that great because we still are in hell. We still haven't escaped, but we have an invite. So that's the most important thing that we got today. Or got done. Okay, and now we're going to walk all the way back to the cab. Or we're going to call the cab. If we're here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hey, uh, thanks a lot for this. Uh, just give the door gal my name. See you in there. Rock and roll. Well, see awesome. you later. We're we are awesome. awesome. Yeah, okay. So we should just go to Satan's then, right? Like, hey, what's up? Let's just, uh, let's drink you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. Let's just, like a band-aid. Quick and easy. Right off. Right off. 
Yeah, of course. So, okay, and we also got an achievement. The myth of the miserable got an invite to Satan's from Linda. Okay, we got another achievement right here. But uh, yeah, guys, um, this is where, yeah, this is the place where we're gonna end off this video right here. So, guys, we did it. We got an invite from Linda to Satan's house. I mean, huge house. It's not really, I don't know if I can call it a house or a villa or a mansion, but we're just gonna call it a house. Satan's little uh, home, home sweet home. <laughs> but okay, guys, uh, make sure to leave a like, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.